Hey, good morning. Jeff here with this incredibly cool, fun 1984 Williams Pen and Fever baseball game. Uh, for those of you who may also be fellow Gen Xers, you might remember playing this uh, at your local arcade when you were growing up. And uh, about 10, eh, 10, 11 years ago or so, I uh, had an opportunity to buy this game. And uh, we've had a, a ton of fun with it since then. Uh, we did have it in for service uh, over the winter, so I think that was December or so. Um, I had it gone through. I'd picked up a couple other uh, games that I was going to sell, so I just thought, well, you know what, we'll have we'll have Dennis go through Pen and Fever again too. Um, the only two things that the game currently uh, that I'm noticing aren't you know isn't 100 right. Sometimes when you turn the game on. It's it doesn't memor it doesn't stay in um, uh, free play, so you have to go in and and uh, put the payment option back to free play. Um, I don't know if that's a battery issue or or what that problem is. And the other issue the game has had since I've owned it, and our repairman says it just has to do with <clears throat> the internals of the game itself, and and there's really nothing that he can do to fix the game any further. Um, is every once in a while, uh, the the game will pitch two balls, so you'll get you know you'll get two balls that come out. Um, beyond that, the game plays perfectly. It's a ton of fun. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's play it together here. So I'm gonna do one player. So no matter what you choose for the pitches, it'll be random. When you play two player, that's when you want to cover it up, and then you can choose which pitch uh, you're going to send to the batter. So. We're in, uh, I've got it set up for three innings, so we'll uh, we'll see how I do here. All right, starting off here with a double. Oh, nice curveball! All right, got one in here. Let's see how. Ah. run for you guys oh that was my pitch okay I'm doing really badly oh that was close all right for those of you keeping score at home here that's three in Man. Some of you guys are laughing at me because I'm not uh, I'm not timing my swings very well here. Oh come on! <laughs> oh man. Well, anyways, say we have a uh, a new Jurassic Park pinball on order from Stern. And the only way I could justify spending that kind of money is uh, parting ways with something else. So, again, after a decade of uh, wonderful use in our family, it's time to uh, pass Pen and Fever on. This uh, came from a smoke-free, pet-free home. You can see the cabinets in gorgeous shape. There's, you know, just a little bit of wear, you know, from uh, when it was probably, uh, you know, in service back in the back in the '80s, but. Uh, the folks we got it from had had it for quite a long time too, so um, this is this is really as close I think to a home use only type of game from the '80s as you're going to get. Uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. Uh, take care. Thanks.